Welcome students who are taking the subject financial accounting. Um, this set of videos, uh, it, this is an introduction for the financial accounting, but it's also um, part of the first chapter in the textbook. Um, and that first chapter is called Business Accounting and You. And as you can see from the title here, uh, I have a point one, which means that there's going to be more than one video uh, for this particular uh, chapter or lesson. Okay. Um, this is going to be difficult for me to get started here because financial accounting, there's just so much to cover. So let me just pop down to the next slide and uh, just start giving you, uh, giving you the information. All right. Okay, so this slide says introduction, all right? And the first bullet point I have here is, um, it says general presentation of information, okay? So what do I mean by this? Well, okay, these videos, uh, as I create them, I try to keep them in the 10 to 15 minute range. Um, but sometimes that's not going to happen and it ends up, you know, each video takes 20 minutes now, like, or, you know, maybe even more. I mean, um, in business, math for business and finance, I've had videos take 25 minutes. Okay. But I do try to keep the content down to a good 10 to 15 minutes. And therefore I end up chopping up the videos. You know, if you think about it, you sit in a classroom for an hour okay and you listen to an instructor speak well that's kind of like the intention of these the purpose behind these videos is to present information so i'm not going to make a video that lasts one hour i'm going to break it up into different sections all right and for this particular set of videos it's, i'm going to have quite a few how many i don't know um i'll just when i get to the end i get to the end so uh, i'm like I said, I'm going to try to present the information and try to find logical, stop, you know, break points to stop a video and start another one. And as you watch the videos, I'll let you know that that's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, also, as far as the general presentation of information, right? Um, as you can see here, I have a digital pen, right? So uh, throughout the videos, I will be using the digital pen extensively. And also realize that I'm doing this ad hoc, meaning I'm doing it off the cuff. Um, sure, I think about what I'm going to talk about, but you know, and I'll create the uh, these PowerPoint slides. Um, but I, you know, I'll use the pen to work through things, write things, present my ideas. But a lot of the information that you'll receive will come from out of my head okay i mean i'm an accountant i have my degree in accounting and i you know uh, since i teach this particular subject financial accounting i'm you know very familiar with it i also have a lot of real world experience so i try to bring that to the table whenever i possibly can so when you're taking this financial accounting if you read the digital study guide it's going to tell you to read certain pages in the textbook and then it's also going to give you assignments to do for your end of chapter problems, you know, you know, like the short exercises, exercises, problems, things like this for you to do. And on your My Courses page, there is a solution manual with the solutions to those problems in it. So if you're following the digital study guide, um, what you're supposed to do is you're, is you're supposed to read and study the chapter. And then you go and you work through the homework problems and you can check your answers in the solution manual. Again, that solution manual is found on your My Courses page. Now, if you don't understand something when you're reading the chapter or you look at the answer to one of the problems and you try to think it through and you can't understand why the answer is what it is because that's not what you had gotten, you know, feel free to contact an instructor by clicking on Contact Us okay, from your My Courses page and sending us an email or by telephoning an instructor. Um, you know, the number is 1-888-427-1000. Now, it, like I had said, this here is ad hoc, and the thing that just popped into my mind was, you know, feel free to pause the video, rewind it, and watch it again, okay? 
I mean, that's the value of videos. If you're not getting it the first time by listening, pause, rewind, and watch it as, uh, again. And, you know, until you do get it. And if you don't and you still don't understand something, you know, instructors are here to help you understand the concepts. However, you have to apply the concepts to the exam questions. I mean, we can't help you with exams. And to be honest with you, you have people who, you know, it's my feeling that people who ask about exam questions, you know, they're not asking about, they don't understand what the question is asking. They're not asking about, um, you know, how to, you know, solve the problem. Well, instructors can only help with the exam questions after you've completely completed the exam, meaning, you know, you've taken the exam, and if it's a multiple choice lesson exam, you're able to retake it to be able to get a, a higher grade. When you have that second grade, and you're done with a, the exam, and you miss a question, and you still don't understand how the answer is arrived at, then the inst you can call an instructor, and we'll be more than happy to go over all of the specifics of, of the exam questions, okay, so that you do understand it. And the reason why I went through all of this is because with accounting, it is important that you understand everything because everything builds one upon another okay um, I'll get to uh, this uh, my thoughts about that when I'm talking about memorization versus understanding right here okay so um, with all of that said you know here you know you're assigned to read uh, you know specific material in the textbook and then you are assigned the homework problems. Well, try to work through the homework problems. Um, if you get the answer right, great, good for you. And if you miss it, look at the uh, answer in the solution manual and try to figure out why you didn't get the answer. But if you still don't understand how the answer is arrived at, then you know what I'm going to have is I'm going to have additional videos that will show you me as a, you know, as if I was a student trying to work through the homework problems. So when you're looking at the videos here on your My Courses page, what you're going to see is you're going to see like chapter one, and then you're going to see, let me get my pen here, uh, you're going to see theory videos, right? And they'll usually be dot number dot one, dot two, dot three, you know, as to how many ever videos so you might end up like down to dot seven you know so meaning there's like seven videos and then after the theory videos what you will see is um other videos and i'll get to these other videos in just a second so you're gonna have other right and by the way, when I'm using this pen, I am sloppy, and I'm, don't, I'm not going to apologize for it because I'm not producing these professionally. Like I said, I'm, you know, talking to you as if I was a student working on a blackboard, and uh, you know, working with a digital pen can be an issue at times. But anyway, so then you're going to have some other videos which I'm going to reference to next, all right? And then you'll see, you know, like for example, short, uh, short exercises. All right, let me, there I see I made a mistake, and this is just the, the nature of me using a pen, all right? So I'll have other, and I'll have short exercise, and, you know, it'll be like one and two, whatever, three, or whatever it is, okay? And then you'll see, like, exercises, group B, I believe in the first chapter, that's what, um, uh, is, is assigned for you to do. And then I believe there's like some problems. And again, group B. Okay. So when you're, you know, you, you read the textbook, you study what's in the chapter and then, you know, watch the theory videos in order to get a better understanding. Okay. There's also going to be other videos, which uh, you know, I might as well you know jump into it right now. Um, I'm, we had previously we had uh, on the my courses page accompanying videos um, to the particular lessons, and they were done by someone um, by Matt Fisher, and this here is his uh, name on YouTube, and we found them to be of pretty decent value because 
he had quite a few that discussed specific concepts, okay? Um, and therefore, you know, one of the issues with trying to watch YouTube videos is, uh, you know, you're, you're, you want to understand something specific. Let's just say something like uh, aging receivables. Well, you can go out to YouTube, but that aging receivables is kind of embedded within a whole bunch of other stuff. And it's kind of hard to find that, you know, videos that specifically talk about aging, uh, aging receivables and also present it in a manner that's, you know, uh, usable. Well, we found that Matt Fisher, even though he has quite a few videos um, that range over things like cost accounting and not just specifically financial accounting, um, we found that uh, we we were able to pick up quite a few of his videos that discuss specific concepts, and we had put it on to the uh, students' my courses page. Well, instead, what we're doing is, is we're going to move those videos over here to the student community. So when you're looking at you know your student community, and obviously you know where you're at, you know because you're looking at this, you're watching this video, you're going to see the theory videos, and then you'll see his other videos. So when you read the chapter and study it, you'll want to watch the theory videos and you'll want to watch some of these other videos. And what it's doing is it's giving you just different looks. Okay. I mean, the textbook is written one way and it's, you know, the inform all the information is the same, but it's presented a specific way. I'm going to create theory videos with the way I think about accounting and those specific concepts. Then you can watch Matt Fisher. And, you know, he's going to explain in his own specific way. So, sure, you're looking at this information three different times. And, of course, you could rewind it and, you know, watch it again on the videos. But it's explained three different ways. And maybe one way resonates a lot more, you know, to you than another. Okay. So, watch the theory videos and then watch any of the other videos. After that, you're going to have homework problems that you're, you know, that are going to be part of your assignment. Well, like I had said, work through the homework problem. If you don't get the answer and you don't understand it, then come back to these videos and you can pick and choose whichever video to watch so that you see me working through that particular homework problem. And you'll and as I'm working through the homework problem, I'm also going to be just talking about what's going on in my head. In other words, as I work, I'm just going to blurt out exactly what I'm doing or exactly what I'm thinking so that you can see my thought process in order to be able to work through that particular, you know, problem or situation. And so you'll be able to make those choices between your, you know, your short exercises, exercises and problems. Again, it's going to be all the worked out problems. Okay. Now, um, I'm at 13 minutes in this video. And since I covered, um, a portion of you know this here other videos on the student community uh, let me just finish that off and I'm gonna stop uh, this particular video and go on to another one so that's the way the information is going to be presented generally I mean I'm not doing this by cue cards I haven't written any script yes I have I set up the PowerPoints which kind of like guides me but I'm doing this ad hoc it's just how I think about things okay um, and hopefully that's a benefit to you. You know, there will be these other videos on the student community. And as I talked about the Matt Fisher videos, okay, um, there's, you'll also see on the community some previous videos that we had done um, as a stopgap for students who had problems with the graded project. Okay, because right now um, for financial accounting, at the end of the first lesson, there's a graded project. And the first three chapters of the textbook are about bookkeeping. And um, I'll get to that when I, and when I begin the next video about bookkeeping versus accounting. But students would have a difficult time with the graded project. So, and they'd have a lot of questions. So we kind of put up um, some videos that contained a framework on how to think about accounting. And I suggest that you uh, go through and watch that those framework videos, the overview, um, how to, there's uh, videos on how to make journal entries. 
and also what to do when your debits don't equal cre your credits. Now I realize that might not mean anything to you right at the moment, but um, the reason why I'm, I'm instructing you to watch the framework videos and the, and the over you know the overview and the journal entry videos is because it's easier when, when you don't know something about an, uh, about a subject matter whatsoever. It's very very frustrating because your mind, the way it learns, it really kind of like learns by association. I mean, think about a little baby. He's just sitting there and everything is just you know coming at him because he has no associations. Okay, but over time, you know, he starts to build up, uh, you know, memories and he's able to start associating one thing to the other and then learning becomes a lot easier because our mind likes to associate something with something else and when we do learning becomes easy but when we have to learn something completely new um, it's very frustrating because our minds don't have something to associate it with okay so what i'm suggesting is is that you watch those videos because you know, you're not, it's, they're not there for you to memorize it. I mean, they are the concepts that are covered, and I'm going to be going over those um, as part of this here, Chapter 1, uh, to a certain extent, uh, but definitely Chapters 1, 2, and 3. But it'll give you a framework with, uh, with which to think about accounting so that when you're watching this, you're already, you know, putting the stuff in your mind. And then as you go through the chapters and you go through the additional videos, you're able to say, oh, I remember that. Oh, I see where that's going. Oh, I knew about that. And it makes the learning process a lot easier. Okay. And then you'll also see here that I have a um, uh, graded project. Okay. So right now there's two graded projects. They're numbered 061579 and 061552, I believe, or 522. Um, five, 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 two. All right. And what those videos are, um, at when you complete your first three lessons, you have a greater project, depending upon which one you're going to do. And we still have students who call up and say, well, I don't know what to do, even though there's instructions in the digital study guide telling them step by step what to do. So we created these additional uh, videos for this greater project to walk the student, you know, through step by step, kind of like showing them, okay, here's the form you use, you know, here's what it says, here's the form you use, here's what you should be doing with it, so that you can complete, that student can complete the, the graded project. So those are additional videos that are on the uh, student community for you to be able to take advantage of when it comes to doing the graded project, okay? All right, so now I'm all the way up to 18 minutes, and like I said, I try to keep the videos between 10 and 15 minutes, but you know, quite a few times they'll go longer than that. So I'm going to break here, and I will pick up where I left off in the next video.